Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. All right, hope everyone's having a good day. I uh, wanted to just share my bio settings. Um, I just turned my computer on and I'm gonna go through a few things here just so you can get an idea. Um, a few things I do, this is on a Unify X. I know I go to advanced and I set these to Gen 4, Gen 5, etc. cetera. Um, under the overclock panel, okay? I put this on turbo and then I go 62, 62, 61, 61, 58, 58, 58, 58. Um, this needs to be on auto. Okay. Uh, I think that's what, I think that's the issue one guy was having. Um, e cores is 7 to 45. Have not attempted to go past that. Um, I haven't really messed with it. Um, my cash 51. Uh, as far as everything else, I uh, just run an XMP. Of course, I run, you know, my uh, T Refi maxed out. Um, and then I run my T Fall 16. Uh, if I go down, you can see my voltage, VCC sense, and I run adaptive plus advanced offset. Now, even though I'm running this, I'm not running anything like special. I know that I'm just running it. Uh, however it sets it up. So um, I think adaptive will do the same, but that's the one that I'm running. Uh, okay, let me, anything else here? Uh, yeah, my VDDQ 1.51, VDD2, the CPU IMC 1.41, and I got my RAM at just 1.4, 1.4. If we go to advanced uh, CPU, I run the uh, light load is on four and I've got thermal velocity boost voltage optimization disabled if you have this enabled it can cause some stability issues so keep that in mind um, because see when you have this on and your CPU is running cooler or idle it's going to be forcing lower uh, VIDs and you know lower lower uh, voltage curves and when the uh, CPU heats up, or if it just gets a little warmer, it, it can change it and increase them. But when you're running the cores as high as this, like 62, whatever, it you just want to turn that off because you're going to get some inconsistency. Um, but that's how I'm running it. It's as easy as that. Uh, I don't have any power limits. I know if I run, um, you know, single core is good. R23 is good. Uh, it maxes out at like 310 watts or something. You know, you're going to lose a little um efficiency in multi-core because i'm essentially saying hey auto voltage take over send what you want um but you're able to feed these guys enough when they run and when this is set up like this it's going to allow those cores to run uh freely uh also one more thing i have on and that is I have C states. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, I'm just on auto. Um, let me see. Was it something else that it turned on? No, that's it. Yeah, so that's it. That's, uh, that's how my bios looks. Uh, I hope this helps. And thanks for watching.